Hello everyone, this video is our group presentation for Impact of Microbes on Human Life. Our title of the presentation is Mycelium as a Ladder Alternative. Before we begin our presentation, I will first introduce our members, which is Weijin, Trisha, Hani, Sabrina, and I. My name is Huijin. First, what is mycelium? Mycelium is the nutrient component of mushrooms, consisting of a vast network of branching, fibrous, and naturally composite materials with control uh, mechanical properties. It becomes extremely uh, durable and resistant to environmental uh, pressure through chemical and thermal treatments. It is this unique uh, characteristic that makes us interested in this topic as its uh, applications have tremendous uh, potential to benefit both humanity and the planet. Mycelium can be used to upgrade low-cost agricultural waste substructs and produce mycelium-based ladder uh, infused with additives. Additionally, mycelium ladder can reduce the health and environmental risks uh, associated with cow hide production and it serves as an alternative to petroleum-based polymer forms. Combined with its ability to form and process with minimum uh, pollution and high renewability, mycelium has become a prominent highlight in the field of biomaterial engineering. Furthermore, the mycelial network of mushrooms is the uh, vegetative body and its cell walls are composed of matrix components, which greatly influence external ecology factors. Additionally, the physical and mechanical properties of the mycelium are influenced by the type of matrix, cultivation conditions, and manufacturing processes. However, cultivating suitable strands and conditions can be complex, and typically monocaryotic strands are preferred. Hybridization and mutation can also enhance the strength, flexibility, and durability of mycelium-based ladder. Next, I will describe taxonomy and structure of the mycelium. Mycelium is the vegetative structure of a fungus that acts as its root system. It grows underground and helps transport nutrients throughout the fungus. Mycelium also acts in many ways with balancing the ecosystems by breaking down organic matter and recycling the nutrient gain from it with other living organisms and the environment, as well as interacting with them to gain more resources. Mycelium is a porous structure consisting of an extensive network of branch tubular filaments called hyphae. These hyphae are incredibly thin at 1 to 30 micrometers in diameter and are able to grow from lengths ranging from a few microns to meters long, depending on their growth conditions. Mycelium is able to grow to such lengths due to the expansion of the apical tip of the hyphae spore. Hyphae will also initiate random branching to form tree-like colonies that will join with other colonies by hyphal fusion to form the network. At the same time, the walls of the hyphae are made of chitin, which makes the mycelium rigid and robust. The direction in which the hyphae expands is due to the nutritional and environmental conditions of the soil. Here is a fun fact. The most effective strength for mycelium-based ladder production is Formitilla uh, fresinia, a species of white group, uh, fungus with significant therapeutic potential. It thrives on several sorts of forests and agricultural waste, as well as logs from various trees. The extensive network made from high-phase apical tip growth allows mycelium to reach more resources and nutrients. Additionally, it allows mycelium to explore more of its environment and interact with other organisms. It is able to interact with other organisms and gives mycelium the ability to form symbiotic associations with them. For example, mycorrhizae is a mutual relationship between a plant and a fungus that increases the plant's water absorption and the fungus' carbohydrate intake. Since it is able to sense changes in its environment, mycelium is able to grow in areas with more favorable conditions to produce a fruiting body. Mycelium is able to adapt to various environments and is able to withstand changes made to it. 
However, if conditions aren't ideal, the mycelium will form a dormant structure called sclerotium, a hard and compact mass of mycelia, that to survive, the, to survive until the conditions become ideal again for growth. Lastly, mycelium is able to grow on various surfaces, which gives them access to many, many different resources that it can break down into nutrients that are used by mycelium and recycled back into the surrounding environment. For mycelium to grow optimally, various conditions need to be achieved. The temperature that allows for mycelium to grow varies from different species of fungus, though generally, mycelium prefers to grow in temperatures that range from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. pH is another factor for mycelium to grow optimally that, can also, that also varies from species to species of the fungus. Fungi generally grow in pH levels between 6 and 7, however, some may prefer to grow at a higher or lower pH. Light is usually an important factor in the growth of a plant. But it, is not but it is not essential for the growth of mycelium, since fungi do not undergo photosynthesis. Light is only crucial when fungi produce fruiting bodies that contain spores. Mycelium is known to grow best in high humidity levels, approximately 70-90%, to 90%, as lower humidity will slow down the growth of mycelium and could dry it out. Lastly, adding substrate to, to the soil mycelium is growing in is also ideal to achieve optimal, optimum mycelial growth with some of the best substrates to use being sawdust and agricultural waste. Mycelium is known to possess many medicinal properties, such as antiviral, antimicrobial, and, and anti-inflammatory properties. An example of this is the mycelium of the reishi mushroom, which is beneficial for immune system support and cancer immunotherapy. Mycelium is also used in the production of plant-based meat products, as they are high in protein but low in fats, making them a healthier alternative to regular meat products. The use of mycelium in plant-based meats also aids in reducing the environmental impact of, the meat of meat production, like greenhouse gas emissions. Other ways that mycelium helps with the environment are through processes like micro-remediation, which is, which is the process of using enzymes secreted by the mycelium to break down pollutants in contaminated soil. Another is, micro, is microfiltration, which is, which is the use of mycelium as a filter to filter out pollutants in, the, in contaminated water. Lastly, due to, the, due to its sustainability and durability, mycelium is used as an alternative to many different industrial materials, such as, such as a replacement for packaging, building, and textile materials like polystyrene and leather. Mycelium, the intricate network of thread-like structures that make up mushrooms, is revolutionizing industries across the board. Scientists have, are harnessing its power to create a vast array of products, from scaffolding and artificial organs to biodegradable plastics, packaging, and even plant-based meat. But now, mycelium is making its way into our wardrobes, offering a natural alternative to, to traditional materials used to produce apparel. This new generation of producers is pioneering the use of mycelium to, to craft leather-like materials without relying on animals. They're showing us that durable, stylish apparel and accessories can be fashioned from this humble fungus. And the best part about them? When a mushroom garment has served its purpose, it can be seamlessly recycled by returning it to the, fun the fungi that birthed it. Imagine a future where our clothes not only look good and feel great, but also have a positive impact on the environment. With mycelium leather, that future may be closer than we think. As Stephen Southman, the president of the Leather and High Council of America said, the leather industry is, re is a recycling industry. We're already conver converting a waste product into something useful and sustainable. Imagine stepping into a world where sustainability and innovation intertwine seamlessly in a groundbreaking vertical farming facility powered entirely by renewable energy, a revolution is taking place. It all starts with mycelium cells carefully cultivated on a bed of renewable and organic substrate. From this intricate process emerges Milo, a remarkable biomaterial with endless possibilities. Milo is crafted from a tightly connected network of soft foam, billions of mycelium cells known as hypae. But it doesn't stop there. The substrate that remains after extraction is composed, leaving no waste behind.
guided by the principle of green chemistry, this gathered mycelium undergoes a transformation where sheets of soft, pliable biomaterial, and it doesn't end here. To ensure the highest quality, a tannery adorned with a leather working group, gold rating at surface texture and finishing touches, creating a, an unmistakable resemblance to genuine leather. This remarkable journey showcases the potential of mycelium as a sustainable alternative to traditional leather. From uh, renewable energy powered farming to the application of green chemistry principle, every step is a testament to its ability to create with nature rather than against it. So as you envision a future where style and sustainability go hand in hand, remember the story of Milo. It's a testament of its genuity and a commitment to building a world where innovation and uh, environment stewardship thrive together. Okay, so mycelium leather can bring changes to humans. It can be benefits and it can also be non-benefits. So looking at the benefits, um, it has improved athlete's food condition. It prevents eczema. It is environmentally friendly, which is free from artificial chemicals. It reduces manufacturing waste and it also requires a shorter amount of working hours according to the employees. So as for the non-benefits, it is extremely expensive. It has weaker durability compared to animal leather, which is prone to tearing and also requiring frequent amount of replacements. It has limited availability in the market and some companies employ unsustainable practices and chemicals into the production process.
Mycelium-based product in, in the fashion and textile industry is incredibly promising. With ongoing research and technological advancements, we can expect to see significant growth and innovation in this field. So here are some exciting possibilities for the future. Firstly, is sustainable alternatives. Mycelium-based materials offer a sustainable alternative to a traditional textile as they are biodegradable, require fewer resources to produce, and have a lower carbon footprint as environment, environmental contents continue to grow, these eco-friendly solutions are likely to become more popular. Versatile application. Mycelium can be grown and manipulated into various forms, making it highly versatile and suitable for a wide range of fashion and textile applications. From clothing and to accessories to footwear and home decor, mycelium-based materials have potential, potential to revolutionize the industry with their unique properties. Thirdly, lastly, is the improved material properties, which researchers are actively working on enhancing the properties of mycelium-based textiles by fine-tuning the manufacturing process and incorporating other natural or synthetic materials. They aim to improve aspects like durability, resistance, color variety, and stretchability. This will help to meet the diverse needs of designers and consumers. While mycelium-based materials hold great potential, there are indeed a few challenges to consider, which is the first one, scalability. The mass production of mycelium-based materials can be a hurdle. Cultivating mycelium requires specialized facilities and controlled conditions, making it challenging to scale up produ production to meet the demands of fashion and textile industry. However, advancements in biotechnology are constantly being made to tackle this challenge. Secondly is the material properties, which mycelium-based material is may have different properties compared to the, to the traditional leather. While they can be soft, durable, and lightweight, certain adjustments may be needed to match specific textile requirements such as stretchability, water resistance, and color fastness. Thirdly is the consumer acceptance. Uh, introducing mycelium-based materials into the fashion industry requires consumer acceptance and education. Some people might be unfamiliar with this innovative approach and might need educated about the benefits and sustainability aspect of using mycelium. Thank you, Honey. Now I'll be recapping the main points and will be providing a final thought on this topic. As Beijing has explained in details earlier, mycelium possesses an extensive interconnected network hyphae, engages in symbiotic associations with other organisms, senses the environment, demonstrates adaptability under a variety of environmental changes, and has the ability to break down various resources. These characteristics contribute to the ecological roles and versatility of mycelium in nature. Additionally, it is also mentioned that mycelium prefers temperature between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. It doesn't require light for growth but needs it for fruiting bodies. Mycelium thrives in high humidity level of 70% to 90%, preferably a soil pH level of 6 to 7 and benefits from substrates like sawdust and compost for optimal growth. Do you remember mycelium's role in association with humans? Mycelium offers diverse benefits to humans, ranging from medicinal properties and sustainable fruit production to environmental remediation and innovative and industrial applications. Its versatility and a positive impact make it an intriguing area of research and development. In the fashion industry, Mycelium is emerging as a natural alternative for creating apparel, footwear, and bags. It allows for the production of leather-like materials without relying on animal hides or conventional plastics. This innovative approach demonstrates that durable clothing and accessories can be made from fungi. Moreover, mycelium-based garments can be easily recycled by returning them to the fungi, highlighting the sustainability of this approach in the fashion industry. The future of mycelium in textile industry looks promising. Mycelium as a leather alternative brings several benefits and a few drawbacks to humans. The advantage includes improvement in athletes' food conditions, prevention of eczema, environmental friendliness due to the absence of artificial chemicals, financial savings, reduced manufacturing waste, and shorter working hours. However, some disadvantages are present such as higher costs, lower durability compared to animal leather requiring frequent replacements, limited availability, and the concern that certain companies may employ unsustainable practices or chemicals. Ultimately, mycelium offers a viable and ecological alternative to traditional leather in the garment section. 
as a natural material created from fungi. It enables the manufacturing of long-lasting and fashionable garments, footwear, and accessories without the use of animal hides or plastics. The usage of mycelium is consistent with the ideas of circularity and recycling, as these materials may be simply recycled by returning them to the fungi that produce them. By accepting mycelium as a leather substitute, the fashion industry may help to reduce environmental impact while also supporting a more sustainable and ethical approach to garment production. That's all from me and my team. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you.